three straight national titles. That's what Columbia Fencing will be going for when they head to Indianapolis this week for the NCAA championships. And with the target on their backs and plenty of room in this trophy case, the fencers are embracing the challenge. We know we can do it, and I think the expectation helps push us more than anything else. We're not the kind of fencers and the kind of individuals who are going to back down from that kind of pressure. We're going to rise to it. I think they just motivate us even more. You know, you don't want to be the team that finally loses. Um, but, I mean, it makes you work harder. The pressure kind of motivates me personally, kind of just to go that extra mile and show everyone that we're number one for a reason. Columbia's 12 fencers are split in half. Six have been there before. The other six will be fencing in the championships for the first time. Well, I think the old fencers have lots of experience and the young fencers have a fresh mind and a fresh face and don't really have so many expectations for themselves or the competition, so that can be an asset. The youth, I think, is really important, actually, because the younger crowd is a little bit hungrier. They, they haven't been there, they haven't uh, experienced it, and they really want it. And sometimes maybe that lack of experience could hurt them, but that's what us old dogs are there to help them out with. This is a very like fluid team. Everyone on this team is really, really interested in being the best fencer they can be for the team. At the championships, the Lions will obviously be fencing individually, but they know they're strongest together. The level of teamwork and the level of team solidarity we have here at Columbia is one of those major factors that helps us kind of rise above the competition. A lot of other teams are working hard, um, but we've just our teamwork is great and we're just one giant family um, and we know that if we go out there no matter what we're being supported. Everything we've been doing this season has been building up to this weekend so the successes that we've had across the season have bolstered our confidence and the losses that we've had have poised us to learn and to change. Everyone here knows we can do it and the expectation is that we do it. Be sure to follow Columbia's journey for three straight on Twitter at Columbia Fencing and tune into ESPN3 for the semifinal and final rounds. For the Ivy League Digital Network, I'm Carly Nevis.